Um, my name's Rick, uh, 22 years of age, uh, newly a father, like 10 months ago I had my first son, so I'm pretty proud of that. I, um, my name's Clay, I um, grew up in a small town out called Killarney, um, moved to Bribe, um, been through the foster care system since 10 days old. For myself, it was more after I turned 18, um, six months down the track, everything went to crap. Um, for myself, I would got into drugs really hardcore, because um, just nothing, and well, from there it went downhill to the extent that I was sleeping under a bridge for quite a while. I myself have been out of care now for about six years. I ended up in the streets. Uh, I've noticed for a couple of other people that I don't know in the system, there was no transition at all and they were basically thrown out straight onto the street with a sleeping bag and the clothes on their back. Uh, for me, I wasn't prepared, especially seeming I'd been taken into care from the age of 11 uh, with no one to teach me and show me the ways of how it worked. And I wasn't prepared. So I believe maybe going to that 21 is allowing enough time frame for that pre preparation to actually take place and have that outcome that we want and need. This whole system needs to change. And I've spoken to so many other young people that are in foster care. I know quite a few young people that are in foster care and also in other states as well as Queensland. Um, and seeing what they go through on a daily basis and everything is one of the things that drives me to make these changes and it definitely needs to happen. Um, so my name is Zoe, I do hairdressing. I've been studying my apprenticeship for four years. I don't really have a lot of hobbies, just generally hairdressing is my favourite thing, I love it. Uh, my name is Jake. I was studying hairdressing for a few years of my life. Um, ended up working in a salon, had a lot of fun doing that. So I was removed from my parents' care at the age of 12. Uh, my name is Terrell. In-home care was very difficult. It's very difficult because, you know, you're not with your family, with random people, random strangers, but, and that's why I believe we need the home stretch because 18 is not long enough. Even though Child Safety had said, yeah, we'll support you, we'll be there for you, anything you need to know, anything you want, let us know, we'll be there. Um, come 18, you're practically packed up. Two months before 18, I was in Murray I went out for lunch with the regional manager and came home to the residential care, actually packing my belongings. Yeah, there was about four different cars there and um, they had packed everything and they go, this is where you're going, um, to a completely drug-filled unit complex where there was so much trauma. And some people just aren't ready at the age of 18 to transition out of care. Um, just because their needs haven't been fulfilled in care. Um, some of the challenges I had to face when I left care were basically just helping, trying to get rent, trying to get money. There was just no support for me anywhere. I was struggling. I feel like if the government extends it to 21, I feel like I would have been, it would have been easier for me to get a house, get a car, you know, just the basic things you need in life. So that's why I believe it needs to be extended to 21. Well, I'm Shlam. I love my sports, especially soccer. I've been playing for five years. I'm a science nerd and really into music and art. Um, my name's Caleb. I like pretty much anything to do with engines, technology. I think I can pull apart and figure out how it works. I moved into care when I was 14. I've moved around a lot across both New South Wales and Queensland, which disturbed a lot of my education. So it's not the greatest thing to be in, but it's gotta do what you do just to survive. So I'm still transitioning, but this extension, because I know within myself, I'm not ready to be an adult as of yet. I've only just finished basically living my childhood that I never got. So this extension to 21 will allow for those children as for myself as well, that opportunity to learn to be an adult, what it's like to have your own house, to pay bills, learn all those skills before you're released. I don't even know what I'm doing and I'm just going through the transition stage myself. So, I've said this many a times, but it definitely needs to be done. I just really hope all of this makes a difference because I've, I've spoken to people before, I've spoken to heads, so I've done a lot of stuff and it, really never changes. Even I was in the resi and I was spoke, speaking to the 
case managers and the higher people and nothing was getting changed. Or they'd change one rule but it wouldn't make a piss all difference. And it hurt to see me trying to put in effort when it's not being acknowledged, which all comes back to that acknowledgement. My name's Jaden. I look after kids full time at my church. Looking at studying Bible College and TAFE next year, love doing sport is one of my key things. So I'm Jessie and I'm currently nearly a graduate of Human Services. I graduate next week, <laughs> which is really exciting, yes. Um, I was placed in care at um, 14. Leaving care was quite challenging, um, to say the least. I've been out of foster care since for about 10 months now. The challenges that I've seemed to have at the moment um, is the support, not only financially, I'm having difficulty with that type of support out of care, but also with work, uh, study and home. I know so many young people, oh, I'm gonna try not to cry, um, that exited care on the street. And um, I watched that um, happening and it was really confronting. It's something that I wish if I had, because I wouldn't have to be facing homelessness almost every month whilst trying to find a new house. What 15-year-olds um, needs to start thinking about housing? Like not a lot of 15-year-olds that I have met, well, outside of care, um, is thinking about where am I gonna live in two, three years time? When I was in care, um, I'm 25 now and nearly 26, um, this was a topic, raise it to 21 was a topic um, all the way back then and Queensland still haven't stepped it up. Hi, my name is Janice. A little bit about me, my hobbies are full driving and camping and I'm studying next year. My name is Hannah and I actually really enjoy reading and writing, mostly fantasy. I have a small obsession with fairies and dragons. I was in foster care for a time and then I was in kinship care, then I was back into foster care and then I was put into residential care towards the end. If you're in like um, resi care or anything, as soon as you turn 18, you're kind of like kicked out and that's really scary. When I turned 18 because of that, I ended up being pretty alone. All my carers told me that they weren't allowed to see me until I was 21. So it kind of felt like I was orphaned. If the Queensland government changed the rules and allowed young people to be in care until they turn 21, I, I probably wouldn't have experienced homelessness. The difference it would have made um, to make it 21 would have been, um, I would have had a lot more support and I wouldn't have been so panicked. Um, after turning 18 and also like when you turn 18 you're not mature enough to handle your own finances to know everything making it 21 would be an enormous help to a lot of people and wouldn't be so scary the girls i lived with were like my little sisters um i helped them out and encouraged them to go to school to to be good i guess i I kind of lost contact with them when I left because it's hard to keep in contact. They're, I have no way to help them and I feel horrible that, about that. 